If you've been paying attention to anything I've been saying for the last few years, well, you have the patience of a saint. Because once I find something that needs to be fixed, I tend not to let it go. Right now, nine starports across the human populated bubble are on fire after a major coordinated terrorist attack by an Imperial strike team posing as NMLA terrorists. Good. And what's more, I think we should let them burn. For far too long, the meat of Elite's gameplay has been heavily restricted by the area we call the bubble. Community goals, combat, missions, and really any kind of interaction is mostly relegated to the bubble, with few exceptions. Exploration bucks that trend, but also represents a massive commitment on behalf of the commander who does it. You won't be doing anything but exploration for quite a while. And that means if you do want to participate in the latest community goal, it's just not going to happen without an entire second account. Or flat out killing yourself. And since we don't really have the ability to expand the bubble, or the reach of humanity, all by ourselves or even as a group, we're on a relatively tight leash, tethered to this visually dark, bland, boring section of a much prettier galaxy. To be frank, that sucks. I don't like the bubble, and I think we should let it burn. And instead, a series of micro-bubbles across the galactic plane. Superpowers creating their own clustered sections of fortified power, sure, but also claiming systems of strategic interest based on intel brought in by properly aligned commanders. Mission-based expeditions can lay the groundwork for expansion, while dedicated traders supply colony megaships deployed to new systems. Bounty hunters can find their fill running down killers in the core worlds, or protecting trade routes to expansion systems. Rival community goals can compete for disputed territory, or security clearance, or access to new technology. Bad faith actors can have their clearances removed altogether. These poor souls banished to uncivilized space on the fringes of the ever-expanding bubbles of the civilized world, complete with their own aftermarket solutions and more questionable engineers. The rest of us can experience a culture allowed to stretch its legs, our credits and resources into enterprise, and be at the forefront of new technological advancement, all to the benefit of corporate organizations, royal propaganda, and security at the cost of personal freedom. An all-access rank from the Empire might mean you are persona non grata in Federation space. Or at least it would, if you didn't clone that identity from a soldier's body on mine. To date, still, less than 1% of the galaxy is explored. And that seems to be a problem that isn't getting resolved. It's time to properly make our home in the stars. And we can't do that from here. Burn the bubble.